everybody thank you for joining me for this video today my name is Nicole and today I thought I would bring to you guys a vlog um, I am currently still working I am a part-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark but I generally am a full-time teacher at a Christian school and obviously school's out and we had it at school because of the pandemic and everything like that but um, I am still doing some school related stuff and in the summer times I, I also do work at the church as well and do some different things um, just to help out with that. So I'm going to be working from 9 to 3 today and then I have to run home and do all my shipping because I ended up being out late last night. I went to the gym really late and didn't get home until after 10 and so I wasn't able to finish all of my shipping. So as soon as I get done with work today at 3, I'm going to come home and I'm going to show you guys what sold. And um, I'm going to do a haul video of what sold for you guys. Uh, but I'll show you a couple of the items in this vlog. Because um, this will probably come out after that video does. But anyway, so I thought that I'd bring you along with me today. Um, I'm going to be doing some real reseller oriented stuff as well I'm I like I said I have to do my shipping and then I do have to list some stuff um, on eBay and Poshmark I did quite a few listings on eBay this morning um, but I still have to do listings on Poshmark and I'll probably be cleaning the room a little bit because my eBay room I have a whole room dedicated to eBay um, in my house and uh, it's getting pretty messy. So anyway, I hope that you enjoy this video and come along and see what's going on in my reseller life today. shipping I'm gonna guys kind of show you guys that and then I'm gonna run to the post office so um, it's about three o'clock it's raining pretty good here and um, hopefully I will be able to quickly get my stuff together and get to the post office so I can get home to make dinner Hey guys, so right now I'm in my eBay room and I am just doing shipping, so I thought I would kind of show you just a few things that I'm shipping out. Um, I am going to be doing a, a what sold video of all this stuff, so you might see it in another video, but um, first of all, whenever I ship out, honestly, I just have a regular printer. I don't have anything special. I don't have a Dymo printer or anything like that. Um, someday I might invest in something like that, but I currently am just using just a regular printer that I think I got at like Best Buy or something um, and I'm on like a Black Friday. And it works really well for me. I use uh, just I use sticky labels that I find on, like Amazon or eBay, and I don't really do anything super special with my shipping. Honestly, I'm not into doing like tissue paper or anything like that. I know some people like that and they like the way it looks, and, and it, it does look nice, but I feel like it's just kind of a waste. And you know, I think there are a lot of people out there too that are very environmentally conscious and they don't want to have all this extra stuff. Anyway, so I'm very, very basic. Um, 
I do use these priority flat rate um, pad envelopes for all my Poshmark labels. Um, you can use any priority envelope or box for Poshmark. Um, obviously not for eBay, but for Poshmark you can. They have a special deal with USPS where we can use anything we want for um, any of their boxes as long as they're priority or their envelopes. So you can use a flat rate padded, you could use a flat rate box, uh, you can use a regular priority box. And there is also, there's some debate like when you go to the post office, uh, some post office workers will tell you that you can't use that. You can't use a flat rate because it's regular priority, but there's actually a little thing at the bottom of your um, your shipping label, and I'll read it to you. It says, Poshmark shippers are authorized to use all priority mail packaging, including flat rate and regional rate packaging through zones of local and one through eight. So this actually is telling the worker, because obviously this was an issue, it was obviously an issue at some point, and so they finally decided to put that on the bottom. It's been like that ever since I can remember that we can use any boxes or anything priority that we want to, even if it's flat rate. So if someone ever tells you anything different, refer them to the bottom of the shipping label where it says that we are authorized to use any um, shipping priority boxes that we want to. So for Poshmark, I use these. and. Ebay is obviously different because Ebay, you can't use anything you want, right? For Ebay right now, I've just been using these poly mailers. They're nothing special. They're very inexpensive. You can get them on Ebay or on Amazon. And I used to order um, ones with pictures and that kind of stuff, but you get a lot less um, if you have a design on them. I'm personally just using this because people just get it and they just rip the, ba the bag open and they throw it away. Um, I am in the process of getting business cards or thank you cards that I'm going to send in with with each item, um, but I kind of just went to this. Like, it works fine. I haven't had anyone complain or say like they don't like it or they want it different. Um, you know, it's not good enough or whatever. Never had anyone complain. I think eBay is obviously a lot different than Poshmark. I think on Poshmark, people get this expectation that, you know, the items need to be wrapped a certain way or you need to have, um, you know, certain kind of packaging. Uh, I really don't think eBay buyers are like that because eBay kind of seems a little bit more disconnected, I think, too, um, because of uh, how, you know, there's so many sellers. Okay, so basically I just put it on everything and then there you go. And I am in a little bit of a hurry because I had to come home after work to to ship all this stuff. And so and I, am a, I'm a, I am in a little bit of a hurry, but I'll show you guys a few things um, as we go. The only thing about these is they get stuck to my hand and I don't want to let go. <laughs> So I sold, I would say like 12 or 14 items over the weekend and Monday. This is actually a pretty cool piece. This is a vintage um, pullover from Wisconsin Dells. I actually don't live too far from Wisconsin Dells. So I found this at a thrift store, a local thrift store. This is going off through eBay. Some people do package their items in bags and then put them in their poly mailer. I don't do that. Um, I've thought about it and I've done it on certain items, uh, especially ones that are more expensive because I want to make sure they make it there properly, you know. Um, but honestly, I don't worry about it too much. And I think that's just because, you know, I'm already putting it in a waterproof bag, right? Um, so I don't think it really needs to be in anything else. If you want to do that, I'm definitely, I think that's completely up to you if that's something you want to do. I just don't think it's necessary. Um, everybody's different, and I, I I, do like getting, you know, packages that look nice and that are pretty, but I don't write people on their packaging. If 
if I rate them, I'm rating them on the condition of the item when I receive it. You know, um, if it is per their description. I'm not one of those people that, you know, is gonna, um, you know, I'm not one of those people that's gonna rate you low because you didn't put in a thank you note or a free gift. I mean, I never do that anyway, but this is kind of cool. Actif, newer brand to me. My post office closes at 5. I only live about, I don't know, 3 or 4 minutes from the post office, so no big deal. And yeah, so I'm going to drop off these packages. I did have quite a few um, packages today, which was pretty awesome. I was really excited. But I want to be completely honest with you guys. Oh, this feels bumpy. I want to be completely honest with you guys. Um, this is like 4 days of packages. This isn't like two or three days right so it's not like I made 14 sales and I don't have to count because I don't remember exactly I think it was 14 it's not like I made 14 sales in two days or even three days it was like four days um, and so like don't feel bad like if you're part-time don't feel bad be happy with the sales that you get don't like feel bad about yourself because you're not getting as many sales as so-and-so especially when like people are full-time they don't need to make as many sales right when they're full-time I mean they, they they need to make more sales right you don't need to make as many sales um, as they do so oh wow there's a just one of our train tracks oh there's like a, a fawn like walking along the train tracks I didn't get hit it was walking really slow I'll have to drive this way back and see if I see it. We have a lot of deer. We live in town, but you know, I live in a rural area, but we live in town and there are a ton of deer. Like literally that was like a second from my house. Like, yeah. So, um, don't feel bad about yourself or about how much you're doing. Like don't live with guilt over stupid stuff. Like I think that's super important. People live with guilt like over stuff and I just think it's, it's not good. It's not good for you. It's not good for anybody. Um, if you do something wrong, like apologize to whoever you may be hurt and move on. Don't live with guilt. So that's something that I am working on to not live with guilt about stuff. It's definitely important to forgive people and to ask for forgiveness. I think that's really important. But don't live with guilt people. Like especially about reselling or your business like I know I've done that in the past where I've like felt bad about not listing or like I didn't list today I didn't list yesterday I don't think and I was kind of like starting to feel bad a little bit but I'm like you know I'm not gonna feel bad about it everybody needs a break everyone needs a day off and on the weekends I usually do work on the weekends do my eBay stuff on the weekends so but anyway that's my two cents so hopefully that helps you a little bit um, encourages you. Don't live with guilt, people. <laughs> I just wanted to say like I think it's really important to treat your postal workers well because they deal with a lot of um, rough people throughout the day um, people that go in there and don't want to wait you know are impatient 
and um, I actually really love my postal workers a lot. Um, there's two ladies in particular that I really enjoy coming in to talk to. They're really uh, nice ladies and you know they the the postal service like kept going during this whole thing during the pandemic and everything and I just think it's really important to um, just be appreciative of them and kind to them when you go in there because there's so many people that go in who are really impatient they don't want to stay in line um, there's like no line today for me but or people who don't want to wait you know and I just you know we just need to treat everybody well so I just want to encourage you like make friends with your postal workers you know um, treat them like you would treat anyone you know uh, even if you're being impatient you know try to to chat with them ask them how they are and that kind of stuff because that really goes a long way with people anyway that's my two cents um, today uh, when it's when it's referring to USPS. Um, I just think it's really important to treat people also. Anyway.